And welcome to another part of the cafe for away from the kitchen, Bridget. Yes, I am. Now, it is great to have you here and share Thank your own you. personal weight loss journey this morning because you've done something pretty fantastic. Tell us a little bit about your career first, to start, because you're very successful. Yeah, I've been um, a professional chef for over 30 years. So, you know, as a professional chef, I've got to work in some of the most amazing restaurants mm. around the world. And now I wrote, write cookbooks full time. I'm a food writer, which is a fabulous, nice circle, a complete 360, I feel. Absolutely. Was it the chefing that made you perhaps put on a bit? Of weight? Well, I always uh, knew that I knew how to cook. So I understand flavours, I understand textures, I know, I know how to make things delicious. Mm -hmm. But I realised I actually didn't know how to eat, and that was on a personal level. I could feed people really, really well, but when it comes to actually the nutrition that I was putting in my body, I had absolutely no idea. So what were you at your heaviest? At my heaviest, I was size, well, size 18 going on 20. Size, so okay. Yeah. And how did it make you feel? <sighs> I didn't like myself. In fact, there was a lot of self-loathing going on. So even though I was a size 18, I would wear size 22. So at my heaviest, I was probably around close to 90 kilos. Okay. And, um, you know, I wouldn't look in the mirrors. I wouldn't let my husband look at me. I, I didn't like the person that I'd become because I didn't recognise the person I had become. And it kind of creeps up on you. It's not like suddenly you wake up and go, oh, my God, I've put on a loss of weight. Mm. It's a gradual process. And I realised that I didn't have any control over what was happening, even though I thought I did. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you had to change all that. So what, that yep. was the catalyst, obviously, to make you yeah. lose a bit of weight? Yeah, I just felt really unhealthy. And I was tired all the time. I was moody. My poor children. I was constantly like this person that no one wanted to be around because I was always moody. Mm. I was always tired. I, I was constantly wearing clothes that didn't make me feel good about myself. And so I just didn't feel good about anything that I was doing. Was there, that one, was there one particular moment that made you go, OK, I've got to stop this. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, it was. And it's quite superficial, but it definitely started me on an amazing journey. So I was... Um, I got the call um, during the, for my first book that I launched, which was back in February. I launched 128 Recipes That Saved My Life, yeah. which was my first cookbook. And I got a call from TV in Australia say, we would like you to come on television. And I went, oh, TV puts on 10 pounds. And I thought, I'm going to go on television and I'm going to look like an elephant. And no one's going to take me seriously because I didn't like me, so how could they possibly mm. like me? So as superficial as that moment was, it started me on just the most amazing journey. So how much did you lose and over what kind of period of time are we talking? <laughs> so I started sort of looking at health at the end of February, just before I went on TV. Sorry, this year? This We're year, talking. yeah, this okay. year, this year, February this year. I started officially in March, and um, within four and a half, five months, I'd lost 25 kilos. Wow. Yeah, but I still okay. had energy, like, you know, I was waking up at four o'clock in the morning going, oh, what do I do now? Because yeah. I had all this energy, and I was just, life excited me. Well, have seen, seen these before and after shots. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> a little bit different, right? Yeah. A little bit different. And that person, like, it's an... It, I'm not embarrassed by that person because that person was me, but it was covered in things. It that wasn't I, the comfortable way that you yeah. wanted to be. Yeah. So how did you manage the weight loss? I mean, it's an incredible achievement. That's a, that's a huge amount. Yeah. And how did you manage not just to lose it, but to keep it off? Well, I, I started to eat really well. So I oh, investigated. I know. As a <laughs> chef, I'm like, surely there's a way that I can actually eat really, really well, but eat deliciously. Because as a chef, I'm not just going to eat cardboard. So what's eating well for you? Well, for me, I learned a lot about my body very, very quickly. And I learned that there are certain food groups that I need to just really pull back on and one of them for me was well for everyone it's sugar mm. gluten and dairy so I really reduced my intake of those three and what I realized is that the weight started to fall off me so I, I don't have a high fat diet but when I do have it it's good quality protein mm. like the most amazing beef you know that's sourced really really ethically and I'll take a little bit of protein and and mix it with the most delicious vegetables and absolutely have a feast so what else did you do did you exercise <laughs> not not once Really? I didn't do any exercise. And for people who own gyms, I'm like, sorry about it. <laughs> I didn't do anything. In fact, I mean, apart from walking, and I've always been quite a busy person, yeah. so I was still, you know, moving, but I didn't go to the gym every day. You know, I, I might go on my paddleboard every now and yeah. then, but really what I realise is that diet or weight loss is 95% food. Okay. You can't, I've always heard the saying, mm. you know, you can't out-exercise a bad diet. No, exactly, but you should yeah. be exercising more because it's very good for you anyway. Absolutely. So if people want to get um, more inspiration, where do they go? Well, I've got all my recipes. Of, I've created in the last five, six months, I've created over 200 recipes, healthy recipes that are gluten-free, sugar-free, fat-free, and dairy-free. And that's in one recipe, which I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> Good. Cottage pie. Um, so they can go to my Facebook page where I'm giving away these recipes. You can go and share the love on Facebook, which is Bridget's Kitchen on Facebook, where I share all my healthy recipes. Awesome, Bridget. That is so great. Thank you for coming around. And thank you for also making this cottage pie because I'm really looking forward to that as well. Pleasure. Always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. And Bridget is going to be in the Beko Kitchen next, as we mentioned, to show you how to make one of her healthy recipes, cottage pie.